Hello, my name is David. This is my life on play. Welcome. Glad to have you here. I've been working in public accounting for eight plus years. I'm currently a manager. I have worked at a top tier big four firm. I've worked for a small firm and currently in a mid tier firm. And today we're going to talk about what it's going to look like for the path to get to 100K salary in public accounting. Now before we unpack those details, there's a few things that you should know. One, if you like the vlog, if you give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. And secondly, if you'd like to subscribe to what uh, uh, the discussion here, please, in the bottom right hand corner, you can hit that and we would be glad to have you here. Now I think that this is important because when you start off, it's great to know what the earning potential is of a CPA. And I think this is great for the profession and great for people to know what you're getting into and what you should expect when you start off in public accounting. So let's unpack a few things that's gonna affect your salary in a public accounting firm. So when you start off uh, coming out of school, you're gonna be starting off as a staff, but you're not gonna stay there for long. You're gonna be there for two years and then you're gonna get promoted to senior. After you've been in the senior role for three or four years, you're gonna get promoted to a manager. After five years of a managerial experience, you're gonna get promoted to a senior manager. After a senior manager, you're gonna get promoted to a partner or a director if they have room at the top for you. And with each one of these promotions, that's where you're going to get an increase in salary. And so how great is it that as you're going through public accounting, you actually have built in salary bumps throughout your career that's pretty much timed. I will say one thing that affects your promotion is you getting your CPA exam. And so if you don't have your CPA, I know that there's a lot of firms that actually will not promote you to manager unless you have your CPA. And so the importance of you getting that certification, certification is imperative to your career at a public accounting firm. So another thing that's affecting when you're gonna hit that six figure salary is if you're working for a mid tier or a top tier firm. Obviously, when you're working for a big four, you have that prestige behind your name and they can actually get away with paying you slightly less than what you would get at a mid-tier firm. Now, this is obviously all subjective, but this is from my experience and what I have seen in other people. You have to remember that these firms get a lot of turnover. So there's about 20% turnover per year in these firms, which is so many people coming in and so many people leaving. And so your value to the firm begins to rise as you stay there longer and longer, as you log in multiple busy seasons for multiple years, then they start to really value you as an employee. And because they value you, then you are going to be getting paid more. So in the two instances that I know, um, one person was hitting a six-figure salary when they were an experienced senior, which I thought was really early. And because they were making that big of a salary, they were working a ton of hours. And this led to burnout, and I don't think in the end that it was actually worth it for him because of how much he was working. In my experience, I had been working for six years in public accounting, and that's when I started making a six-figure salary. But I'll say that this may be different if you're working in a smaller firm in a smaller city and that you should be reaching a six-figure salary when you hit your managerial years. And like I said, after two years of being a staff and about three to four years being a senior, you will be hitting a managerial role. And I hope this excites you to join the profession of public accounting and becoming a CPA because you know what? It's worth it and you will make a very good living for yourself. Hey, my name is David, and this is my life on play. We're glad to have you. We'll see you next time.